Welcome. Let's ex discuss Pythagorean triples. That is, these are triples of whole numbers that turn out to be the sides of a right triangle. For example, uh, many people are, have memorized that the uh, 3, 4, 5 triangle, 3 inches on one side, 4 on the other, 5 on the other side, are actually the dimensions of a very simple right triangle. And by Pythagoras, we have that 3 squared plus 4 squared uh, is 5 squared is a relationship that's true for right triangles. And if you check, 9 plus 16 is indeed 25. So a Pythagorean triple is any set of numbers that uh, has this property, uh, whole numbers I should say, and a squared plus b squared equals c squared. They're actually hard to find. Um, another example of Pythagorean triple is 5 squared plus 12 squared is 13 squared. Some people have that in their heads. Uh, I believe 7 squared plus 24 squared is 25 squared. One of my favorites is 20 squared plus 21 squared is 29 squared. They can be large, 119, whoops, 119 squared, 120 squared is 169 squared, um, and so on and so on. So how am I coming up with these? Well, the Babylonians, we're talking about a good few thousand years BC here, listed these things. They, they actually had methods of generating them. And then Euclid, uh, 300 BC, actually generated, wrote down a formula for how to come up with examples of Pythagorean triples, and in some sense he proved his formula was complete. Let's go through that. It's very elementary uh, in the following sense. Many elementary school teachers have this sitting at the back of their classroom. It's a great big multiplication table. So what I'm going to show you is how to use your multiplication table to generate Pythagorean triples. Uh, what you need to do is pick two square numbers that you like. Square numbers are the numbers that appear on the diagonal, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. I'll choose 25, and I'll choose 4, for example. Pick any two square numbers. All right, there it's in the second row and column and the fifth row and column. Let me look at the two side numbers, 10 and 10, so I make a little square array of numbers. So I've got the square array of numbers circled in my multiplication table. What I'm going to do is add the two square numbers. 25 plus 4 is 29. And I can subtract them. 25 minus 4 is 21. And I'm going to add the two side numbers. 20, uh, 10 plus 10 is 20. Well, I claim that 21 squared plus 20 squared is 29 squared. In fact, that's the triple I, I said was one of my favorites. Now, let's do this again. Let's choose another two square numbers. I choose, say this time, 9 and 1. Let's look at our companion sides. Here we go. Da, 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 da. 3 and 3. There's a little array of, uh, of, uh, of uh, digits in my multiplication table. Uh, add the two square numbers. 9 plus uh, 1 is 10. Subtract them. 8. And add the two side numbers. 3 and 3 is 6. I now claim that 6 squared plus 8 squared is 10 squared. I will just I can't resist. Let's do yet another one. Let's do a crazy one. Let's choose 36. And I know. Let's choose 36 and 25. All right. Add them. 36 plus 25 is 41. is 61. And subtract them. 36 take away uh, 25 is 11. And add the corresponding side numbers. In this case, it's 13. 30 is 60. I claim 60 squared plus 11 squared is 61 squared. There we go. So why is this working? In fact, in our, you can have fun, lots of fun doing this. So why does this work? Well, what I'm really doing here... Whoops. Can I clear my pens here? Da, 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 da. Let's be a little abstract. Um, let me just erase a square number. Let's get rid of this guy, and let's get rid of this guy. And what I'm saying in general is, we're choosing a square number. Maybe it's m squared and n squared. And I said, let's see where their sum, m squared plus n squared. And let a be their difference, which in this case would be m squared minus n squared. And b will be the sum of the two side numbers, in which case I've got 15, but I'm not going to pretend it really is. It's going to be, well, this is the nth row and the mth column. This is the mth row and the nth column. This is going to be n times n plus another n times m is 2mn. So I'm claiming this number squared plus this number squared equals this number squared. It's a little exercise in algebra. Here goes. a squared plus b squared, excuse me, is going to be m squared minus n squared plus 2mn squared. This would be m to the fourth plus n to the fourth plus the cross terms minus 2m squared n squared plus 4m squared n squared. Well, this is m to the fourth plus n to the fourth minus 2m squared n squared plus 4m squared n squared is plus 2m squared n squared. But actually, that is m squared plus n squared 
squared, c squared. Bingo. So this trick of picking two square numbers, adding them, subtracting them, and adding up their two side companion numbers will indeed give you a Pythagorean triple. Now of course this begs the question, does every triple appear this way? Well let's look, for example, let's go for the famous 3, 4, 5 triple. Is that coming from this manner? Here's 3, 4, 5. Well is 5 the sum of two square numbers? Yes, it's 4 and 1. And their difference, 4 and 1, is 3. Yep, that's checking. And look at the side numbers, 2 and 2, 4. Yes, 3, 4, 5 does appear in this manner. Uh, does 6, 8, 10 appear in this manner? Is 10 the sum of two squares? Yes, it's 9. Whoops, missing here. It's 9 and 1. Uh, is their difference 9 and 1 sub different subtracted is 8? Yep. And the side numbers of 9 and 1 would be 3 and 3. Is 6, 6, 8, 10 appears in this manner. Well, I'm choosing a very basic example. Let's triple it. The 9, 12, 15 example, is that appearing in this manner? Is 15 the sum of two squares? And now we're in trouble. 15 is not 9 plus 4 or 9 plus 1. 16 is too big a square number. This doesn't appear in this manner. Well, Euclid, 300 BC, 2,300 years ago, actually managed to prove, okay, not every Pythagorean triple appears this way, but all the basic ones will. And what do I mean by basic? 3, 4, 5 is the fundamental example to these guys. This is just all multiples of two. It, everything in the three four five triangle double. This is everything in the three four five triangle number uh, triangle uh, three four five triangle tripled. If you have no common factors amongst the terms A, B, C, so it's a primitive example, that's a Pythagorean triple, then every primitive example he proved is guaranteed to appear via this method. Multiples of that triple that primitive example might not appear, that's okay but the basic one is definitely there for sure. So my challenge to you is to try to prove that claim. It's a little bit tricky, it takes some work. I believe I have it in volume one of this Thinking Mathematics series which you can go to, but try it on your own. You'll get some good deep number theory that way. All right, thanks very much.